Today's topic is the clavicle bone, introduction, anatomy, function, injuries, and treatment. Introduction. Today's video topic is the clavicle bone. The clavicle is known as the collarbone and it is located in the front of the chest wall so that it plays an important role in connecting the upper limb to the trunk of the body. Although it is a small bone, it can withstand great force as there are many muscles and ligaments attached to it. The collarbone is located in the upper part of the chest wall, below the neck and on both sides of the rib cage known as the sternum and is located directly above the first rib on both sides of the anterior chest wall. Anatomy The collarbone is not long and straight, but rather curved, which gives it the strength and flexibility necessary to carry out its functions. The inner two-thirds of the collarbone is convex, curved outward, and ends at the sternoclavicular joint. Sternal end The sternal end has a wide facet for articulation, with the sternum's manubrium at the sternoclavicular joint. A rough oral depression for the coscoclavicular ligament can be found on the inferior surface of the sternum. Shaft. The clavicle shaft serves as a site of origin and attachment for various muscles, including the deltoid, trapezius, subclavius, pectoralis major, sternoclatomastoid, and sternohyoid. The costal tuberosity which is positioned near the sternal end of the bone is identified by a large rough surface that is more than two centimeters long and serves as the spot where the costoclavicular ligament attaches. The conoid tubercle. It is more laterally located than the acromial end. It is a rough prominence that may be discovered where the flat section of the clavicle meets the tip of the pyromedial sternal end. This feature serves as the attachment point for the conoid ligament. Function. The collarbone gives the shoulder a distinctive shape, and it also makes the shoulder more solid and bears bruises. The collarbones also preserve the vessels and nerves of the upper extremity. Not only the shoulders, the collarbone also gives the arm bones flexibility to enable the arm to move more easily. The clavicle bone is a link between a large number of passages in the body. They act as stressors so as not to overburden the upper end of the axial skeleton. Injuries. Let's talk about the injuries that can happen to clavicle. A broken collarbone is a common injury, especially in children and young adults. Common causes of broken collarbones include falls, sports injuries, traffic accidents, and sometimes even babies' collarbones can break during delivery. When the bone breaks, there is a swelling due to bleeding from the blood vessels in and around the bone, and there is also pain in the broken bone due to damage to the microscopic nerve endings around the bone. Sometimes an angle appears between the broken ends, causing deformity along the bone. Usually with a broken collarbone, the pain and swelling are severe and there may be visible deformity. There is often pain at the fracture site with any attempt to move the arm. The only way to check if it is a fracture is to get an x-ray of the area. Treatment. The treatment of a collarbone fracture depends on the severity of the fracture and the location of the fracture. A collarbone fracture can be treated by more than one means, and the methods of treating its fracture are as follows. Arm splint. The clavicle splint provides comfort during treatment and prevents the dislocated part from moving during treatment or the use of the arm support through an arm sling or stabilizer. Physiotherapy. There is a set of special exercises that help treat a broken collarbone, as well as prevent stiffness. Medicines. Some prescriptions help relieve pain, such as some opiate medications that greatly help in relieving the pain. Surgery. Some severe fractures require rapid surgical intervention, which requires the placement of slices or screws to maintain the proper position of the clavicle during the recovery period. Home treatment. It is possible to treat clavicle swelling at home, so you can put pieces of ice on the swollen part for 15 to 30 minutes, twice during the day, and repeat this process for the first three days of the tumor, or use warm compresses on the bruises and swelling. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.